June 14, 1777, a Boston dentist named Daniel Scott wrote to the governors of Harvard College with an unusual request. In those days, the walrus was often referred to as the seahorse, and Scott asked the two seahorse teeth be removed from the natural history collections and given to him. Walrus ivory was used to make false teeth and was in short supply during the revolution. Scott appealed to Harvard to give him the teeth for the good of humanity, though since walrus dentures made food taste terrible and gave the user horrible breath, it would be hard to say how much humanity actually benefited. Harvard agreed, provided that Scott agree to replace the teeth at his first opportunity. This Day in History brought to you by the Freedom Trail Foundation, partnered with the Massachusetts Teachers Association to bring history to life.